Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, even though the enemy has been coming in like a flood from all directions, my spirit shall raise the standard of deliverance within this hour against the enemy. So my people shall be delivered. The standard was the reminder to Satan that he had lost the battle. It was the cross and the finished work that was done for you that you may live. And so my name shall be feared from the west and my glory seen from the rising of the sun to the breaking of dawn. I have seen the decay in my house and the diminishing and watering down of my word from the pulpits. And I am calling my remnant anointed to rise up their voices once more. Standards have fallen and the light of the gospel is diminished, allowing darkness the liberty to boldly assert itself within my house. It is not a time to hide from the darkness, but rather expose it and raise the standard. This is a clarion call to every man as it was in the old ancient times of Israel. Every man was responsible to align not only his military service, but his entire life to the standard of his tribe. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Yes, my special possession who is calling you out of darkness and into my marvelous light. Have I not promised that behold, I will lift my hand in an oath to the nations and set up my standard for the people. They shall bring your sons in their arms and your daughters shall be carried on their shoulders. Yes, I am calling each to raise the standards morally, to raise the standards current culturally, to raise the standard scripturally, to raise the standard prayerfully, to raise the standard evangelically to raise the standard prophetically, to raise the standards in praise and worship to me. I am calling you to go through, that's right, to go through the gates, prepare the way for the people, build up, build up the highway, take out the stone, lift up a banner for the people. Yes, set up a banner in the land, bro the trumpet among the nations, prepare the nations against her, call the kingdoms together once again. I am calling you to action today. You need to know that in everything you do for me from this day forward, the standard of commitment and of faith needs to go up. My prophets, I am calling you out of your caves to raise your standard, to lift up your voices and declare the word I have placed upon your lips. This will usher in my will within this hour, for I am raising up prophetic glory streams in this hour. Yes, they shall say, they shall speak, they shall declare what I have touched their mouths to speak. And who can hinder the works of my hands? Have I not said I will do nothing unless I reveal my secrets to my servants, the prophets? For yes, I have this day set you over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down, to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. I am raising a standard of what I am saying, of what I am doing within this hour. If you say it, I will do it. If you don't say it, I will wait until I raise up another to speak through them. It is time to declare among the nations, proclaim and set up a standard, proclaim and do not conceal it. Because what I tell you within this hour, I am calling you, I am raising the standards. The standard is my word, which forms a banner over all the power of the enemy, bringing protection and declaring victory so that you may see the banner of love that is over you. And when you praise me and my word is waving it before the enemy during your battle and the banner always brings victory. The banner is my cross. And as I said, it is finished. It is finished. 
then the enemy flees and as you praise me it will always keep the enemy at bay for you put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness for no weapon formed against you will prosper my song in your mouth shall cause a violent and holy vibration that will bring down every stronghold of the enemy I am the breaker who has gone up before you. I have already made a way where there seems to be no way. When the enemy comes in like a flood, I will raise up my standard against him. He may look like he is winning at times, but my plans for you shall stand. The song you will sing may change from day to day, but my song will never change for it is new every morning. I am the same yesterday, today and forever. Every day I sing a song of love over you. I sing a song of deliverance over you. I sing a song of victory over you. Come, my beloved, listen with your hearts. Come into harmony with me and I will give you a song in your night season. Sing in the spirit with me beloved arise my love awaken and sing i am sending you ahead of my army to clear the atmosphere of all demonic powers for this is the day which the lord has given and the enemy has been given into your hands behold i am your king who goes before you you need to raise the standard of your worship for me and then i will raise the standard against the enemy on your behalf you need to meditate on my word you need to pray for my will to take charge in your life learn to worship me in the midst of storms learn to praise me wholeheartedly even when you get overwhelmed by the trials and tribulations do not worry about your problems surrender everything to me that your soul may rejoice that your soul may magnify me daily as you yield yourself to me fully, I shall raise the standard against your adversaries. As you keep your focus on me, I shall elevate my standard against the devil and his agents. Remember, when the enemy comes in like a flood, when things look tough in your life, my spirit will lift up a standard against him. Be strong and courageous. Nothing shall be impossible for me. My name is your strong tower and the righteous always run to it. Get ready, prepare, sound the trumpet of Zion. Tell them to raise the standard. Sound the alarm. It is time and do not be afraid of their faces for I am with you to deliver you from all of your enemies to those that appear to be for you and are not. I will raise up a standard for you in this next season. Season, get ready, prepare, go for it because I am about to deliver you. Do not be afraid of their faces. I have heard your prayers. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. According to Isaiah 59 verse 19, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of God will raise a standard against him. Sometimes living for the Lord is a real battle and a real battle at that. But the devil can't lay a claw or a fang on you. He can't drown you with his lies if you learn to resist him with the word of God. The Bible is God's standard. Like a banner or flag that you can wave in front of the devil's sharp pointed nose and he will flee. Because when we submit to God and resist the devil, he shall flee from us. He can't take the word. When the devil tempts you, what's the first thing to do? Ask the Lord for a scriptural answer, a rhema word. That's what Jesus did. When the devil tempted him and lied to him, he just quoted the rhema word scriptures that came to him. And of course, the devil also tried quoting scripture to Jesus, but he twisted them and took them out of context. He spoke them in the Lagos, but not in the rhema of revelation. So the Lord just fired back the rhema word back on him the way they should have been applied. It is written, devil, and the devil fled. He can't resist the word. The best way to stop an attack is to counteract 
him. The best defense is an offense. Wage a militant war against the enemy. Baptize yourself constantly in prayer and in the Holy Ghost. Soak yourself in the word. Memorize it. Soak yourself in worship and praise him. Put on that garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. God's promises are yes and amen. Even to the devil as well as to yourself, you can put the enemy out of action with the word. Bury him and flood him in the truth of God's word. Heavenly Father, I pray today in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, that your word is true and your word is sharper than a two-edged sword. Lord, you're calling us to raise the standard prophetically. You're calling us to raise the standard scripturally. You're calling us to raise the standard in every area of our faith today. Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus that you've given us all of authority over every spiritual thing in high places, every form of wickedness. You have given us that authority to pull down strongholds, arguments, and everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of Christ. Deliver us, Father, from everyday attacks on our conscience, on our health, on our relationships, and beyond. From what can see coming and would never expect, protect and deliver us from anything that threatens to throw us off your course for our lives. Give us strength to love people that are seemingly unlovable without compromising our character as Christians. Build a confidence in us that is unstoppable and immovable, but guard our hearts from pride. Deliver us from our distorted thoughts, our sickness and debt, sadness, struggles, hunger, pain, fear, oppression, conflict, unbelief, and we proclaim your peace over our lives. Through prayer, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you all the praise. We thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. We break and loosen each person that is listening right now of all curses caused by habits, charms, hexes, spells, jinxes, psychic powers, sorcery, mild witchcraft, love potions, psychic prayers, violence, trauma, physical bondages, mental bondages, incest, Lord, abandonment, rejection, divine nation in every father, in every mother, Lord, going back to third and fourth generations and beyond, Lord, all the way back to Adam and Eve, we break and loose ourselves and our families and of all vows that were made with any person or any occult or psychic source and any demons coming through the bloodlines, we cancel all all invitations made to unclean spirits. Father, we break and renounce all evil soul ties that have ever had been through lodges, through any sexual partners, close friends, relatives, engagements, cults, or occultic objects, dolls, figurines, junk food, whatever it is, cigarettes, drugs, movies, anime, TV shows, computer games, pornography, masturbation, fornication, and any secular music. We renounce all these ties and declare them destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. We renounce and break and loosen ourselves from any demonic subjection from our parents or any human being living or dead who has dominated us in any way against the will of God. We thank you for setting us free. We command Satan to loose all natural resources, land, animals, money and finances of all your people and the people that have owed us money and all things that have stolen from our families and from anyone else in the name of Jesus. Father, please send your angels to bring these things back to us in the name of Jesus. We thank you that through the blood of Jesus Christ, the standard of the cross, the blood of Jesus, that we are redeemed out of the hand of the devil and all of our sins are forgiven. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin and we are justified and made righteous just as we had never sinned before. We are set apart, Lord, today by you. We are justified 
and made righteous because of your blood. Lord, we thank you. We belong to you now, Jesus, our body, our soul, and our spirit. And we know that your blood protects us against all evil. Satan, you have no power over us, no more power over the places inside of us. We renounce all evil spirits completely and declare them to be our enemies. For Jesus said, and these signs shall follow them that believe in the my name they shall cast out devils Lord we are a believer and we command them in the name of Jesus we exercise our authority and expel all spirits we command them to leave according to the word of God we pray right now father we thank you Lord that you would fill us with your Holy Spirit right now from the top of our head to the soles of our feet fill us now as we raise up the standard in our word in our devotion in our Christianity Lord with Christianity is being watered down where lukewarmness and, and compromise has crept in Lord raise up the voices raise up your prophets raise up your apostles raise up your evangelists raise up your pastors raise up your teachers in this hour raise up your born again spirit filled Christians that will march through this land fulfilling the great commission that you've given each of us to fulfill I thank you for each person. Cover them with your precious blood in Jesus' mighty name. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And if you have liked this post, please subscribe or if not, forward to a friend that they may encourage them and they may also get onto the subscription so they can hear the words daily to encourage them in their daily walk with the Lord. From my family to yours, shalom, shalom, shalom.